In one Cape Breton district alone, 16 rural schools are targeted for closure. So the smallest and perhaps most unique is Framboise, Richmond County. Today, ASN's Randy McDonald visited there, a vanishing part of the educational landscape. Rose Cook calls an end to recess at Framboise Consolidated School. There's no need here for the kids to line up as they head back to class. There are only 10 students. Primary, Alicia and Brittany, don't forget you have to read your story to mom and dad tonight. When Mrs. Cook hands out assignments, it is a multi-grade affair. That's because her one-room schoolhouse includes students from grades primary all the way through to six. I mean, there is nothing like it. <laughs> How I would describe it, we're just one big happy family. We have problems, don't get me wrong, but we're all working together. That team approach means the school's trio of grade six students pitch in if the class's pair of primary kids need help. But that does not mean Mrs. Cook is not busy. You're constantly on the go. I mean, there's no time. I'm sitting down now, talking to you. This is a treat. And most of the time you eat your lunch standing up, and you're going from one grade to the other with so many grades. But there's never a dull moment. Of course, there's no big gymnasium or fancy cafeteria here at Framboise School. But a phys ed teacher comes by weekly, and the parents help out with a hot lunch program. Would you rather be in a class where there's like 20 other grade sixers? You have a lot more friends, I suppose. Or? Yeah, but those are friends to me. Just because you're not in grade six, you're still my friend. Do you feel you're missing anything like, you know, uh, sports or extracurricular activities? No, not really. Um, we pretty much have the same amount of activity and fun here as all the kids here. Mrs. Cook says a bonus to being in a class with only one or two students of your own grade is the learning of an important life skill. They're very independent. This is one of the things that I think they get in a small school because they have to do a lot of the work on their own. Parents of students attending this one-room schoolhouse have vowed to fight its proposed closure. But if they lose, it's the end of an educational era. In Framboise, Nova Scotia, Randy McDonald, ASN News. That is the end of an era. Mm -hmm. You went to a two-room schoolhouse? Believe it or not, started my gr kindergarten grade one two-room school. Very unique. Yeah, it is. That's all the time we have for tonight. Our late movie tonight, The Expert.